Welcome to my fifth presentation on the designing of electrical works in the context of ethics in real estate industry. My name is Arvind Dang. Uh, in this presentation, I am going to cover broadly the scope of the design, the essential characteristics of a robust electrical works, specification of the materials, BOK materials for electrical works, essential electrical technical uh, steps, activities <coughs> for building uh, quality in the electrical design work, use of software and uh, the 8 stages for developing the electrical design. Now, this electrical design uh, covers the scope, uh, residential buildings, hotels, hospitals, commercial shopping malls, offices and educational institutes. What are the essential few characteristics of robust electrical design? It, uh, it must enable optimum usage of the energy savings, BOQ materials uh, like uh, transformers, solar power systems, genser, etc. The BOQs must conform to the international and local quality uh, standards for the country. Uh, design schemes that must enable installation and commissioning of the equipment with optimized capacity. The layout schemes of the design for the power supply distribution systems, cables, wires uh, must be optimum and preferably concealed. Uh, these designs should be eco-friendly and having sustainable energy. Uh, design elements must be easily maintainable and cost must be optimum. Design should be uh, scalable and uh, flexible and uh, the BOQs uh, which go into making the design must conform to the national and international quality standard and the uh, statutory requirements. Essential characteristics of a robust design continuing, uh, the, the approved uh, specifications, uh, the brands of BOQ must enable least downtime, uh, <coughs> running cost for the system should be optimum and uh, rather low and uh, the, it should include all kind of electrical fixtures, lamps, lighting etc including the landscape lighting and uh, they must enable the designs and drawings which are prepared and the line diagrams which are in consonance with the uh, international standard for the symbols for the parts and the wires and the components and must integrate with the entire building management systems. Now I am going to share some of the electrical uh, BOQs which are used both in the case of external electrical and uh, internal electricals. Let me start with the external electrical where I will share some of the important BOQs and the specifications which must be uh, given by the designer. Uh, now some of the materials uh, in the like electrical substations uh, which include transformers and um, uh, <coughs> breakers, circuit breakers, poles, cables, meeting units, etc. Here designers need to specify the capacity, the type, the make, the brand, the size, the power, uh, <coughs> primary power line side statutory and safety requirements <coughs> respect to the voltage uh, and uh, insulation properties, etc. etc. And uh, then next is the VCB, uh, vacuum circuit breakers. Here also uh, similar concepts in terms of the capacity, the type of VCB, the make, brand, size, material of uh, <coughs> high density, high electric conductivity, low resistance need to be uh, uh, designed and pro uh, provided and ACBs, similar kind of concept like VCB. Then transformers, now here uh, the designer need to specify the what kind of uh, core, what kind of make, brand and uh, specify the permeability and the low hysteresis cost and the statutory and safety requirements. The panels uh, uh, which include the circuit breakers, the bus bars, the PLC relays, etc. Uh, here also uh, designers need to specify the make, the brand and the inside component statutory requirements which are required to be met. And the electrical distribution boards here primarily the safety requirements, overcurrent protections, spaces for the wires, pictures, cables, etc. and corrosion resistance of the box in which these are contained. Then high tension cables 
what kind of uh, core number of cores sizes brand make uh, resistance to abrasion <coughs> and um, this must be non corrosive uh, these need to be specified the back of equipment like dg sets or solar power systems or ups here one has to specify the kilowatt ratings the make the brand the the case of jensen the fuel consumption uh, uh, requirement uh, and uh, for the storage of the uh, diesel and uh, other fuels particularly where there are uh, consumptions of the fuel for for example in the kitchen etc one has to specify the uh, brand and the capacity and the fire fighting capability etc for the uh, uh, for the safe storage of the uh, fuels in the case of low electrical site uh, for example for conduits one needs to specify the make the brand the rating the color the safety compliances for the electrical fixtures like lamps and switches and sockets again the makes the brand the size the rating style finishing uh, safety compliances uh, the lamp types the light intensity and light color levels and other miscellaneous items like cctv and video phones in public address system and ma tv for the uh, hospitality industry uh, master antenna television system etc the type make brand size rating style finish and structure requirements now there are some good design practices which need must be incorporated uh, in the designing process uh, first i'll take up the <coughs> external electrical uh, high side design works now the here the primarily uh, good practices in terms of the installation once the material has been selected you know the designer need to specify any specific requirements with respect to the installation commissioning and uh installation commissioning testing of the substation equipment uh, like acb vcb ht cables earthing rising vanes metering boxes panels dg sets solar panels uh, exhaust systems cooling towers etc uh, and uh, for the entire testing of the entire uh, electrical external package as such for the uh, low side uh, internal electrical designs uh, designers they need to specify how to lay the cables conduits the uh, wires uh, the fixtures the lamps the cctv the video phones uh, public address system etc and uh, common aspects for both <coughs> external and internal electrical uh, designs are that uh, uh, the designers must provide adequate sufficient inputs to the uh, other designers like architects landscape Uh, softscape architects interior designers uh, and other mep uh, <coughs> designers uh, so that there is total complete integration of these uh, electrical works with others how to build uh, uh, building quality in the designing process by using designing software the software chosen must enable that uh, it must enable computing of the total power load in the entire system uh, and uh, assess the capacity requirement for each of the equipment which i have stated earlier uh, uh, it must incorporate the installation testing and commissioning aspects uh, it should enable uh, generating 3d models depicting electrical components entire electrical layouts and boqs and duct working electrical fixturing lighting lamps etc and circuit designs and enable no clashes Uh, uh uh this should be able to uh, generate the shop drawings and the designs using the international conventions for the wires and the components uh, and the tags etc uh, in terms of numbering etc and uh, it must meet all the electrical standards applicable to each of the boq as also the entire system and there are softwares like autocad electrical smart draw auto dash ansys which designers normally use uh, having 3d mep uh, modeling features uh, which designers can choose now what are the different stages of electrical design uh, these vary depending on the size of the project and the size of the uh, company and uh, for a uh, for a normal size uh, project there are eight stages which are uh, recommended uh, these uh, can very of course and uh, uh, irrespective of the number of stages the design optimum design must enable 
meeting all the entire the statutory and the safety requirements and incorporating the international and local quality standards in the designs enable optimized project costs and uh, enable efficient delivery of the uh, specifications the dbr the designs and the drawings and uh, incorporate the maker checker concept uh, to avoid any <coughs> conflict in the uh, duties now first in the first stage which is called the dbr stage or preliminary design review stage uh, i am only going to share in each of these stages the activity that can reversely impact business rather than getting into the details of the each stage because that will be too much and this vary from company to company so in this uh, for the in the dbr stage uh, uh, the design can uh, be adversely affected and hence the company's performance adversely affected in case the strategic plans for the designs are not aligned with the vision of the company and uh, the inputs from the customers uh, the project teams they are not uh, taken and project design is non comprehensive and uh, various stages of the design uh, they are skipped uh, in the second stage called uh, detailed detailed design and drawing stage uh, now designers in case they make compromises uh, by skipping some of the design uh, activities uh now these can lead to adverse impact on the uh, business uh now these design features uh, means design features affecting the external works electrical works like uh, dg dg set substations electrical distribution system acb vcbs and for internal like uh, fire doors cable uh, fire door conduits cables distribution system public address system mtv etc etc uh now design features uh, these must uh, conform to the national and international quality standards the specification of the each boq must be specified in this stage 2 and the tolerance on the workmanship should be stated very clearly and the quality requirement for each of the incoming input boqs they these need to be specified and uh, of course standardization needs to be there in case these are not properly considered factored in then this can lead to adverse impact on the business uh then there are some activities which are common to both external and electrical uh, internal uh, design works these are uh, like uh, sanitation is not considered inaccurate bill of materials are there uh, the, uh, the acceptance criteria for the electrical design works both for Uh, internal and external are not incorporated and uh, construction processes are not clearly defined uh mb then uh, mb designers they uh, they are restricting the brand specific brands or the boq materials for these various hundreds of electrical uh, external and internal uh, items uh, which can lead to very difficulty in buying of these materials at a good negotiated price by the purchase and the contracts team and uh, this can also lead to uh, you know uh, collusion between this designer and the uh, vendor uh, leading to compromise on the specification of the quality of the uh, boqs and uh, then uh, uh, design using uh, ensuring that uh, the designs which are which have been released they are latest at the shop floor level and these are not obsolete and the old ones which are uh, superseded they are uh, they are shredded or deleted from the software the stage 3 the uh, developing the schematic drawings for the detailed drawings which have already been drawn for the purpose of obtaining statutory approvals and there are a couple of statutory approvals which are required for the electrical work whether it is a genset whether it is a transformer whether it is a substation Uh, whether these are the lighting uh, loads uh, so the uh, designers uh, um, not meeting the uh, specific uh, the safety requirements or the statutory requirements and bribing the agencies to get the approvals which can cause lot of problems there on including safety to the life uh, now next stage is the developing of the tenders now these tenders they need to be very comprehensive in terms of technical specifications for each of the boq material 
uh, uh, and uh, ensuring that the variety of brands options are uh, specified and there are no kickbacks from such vendors to the designer so that restrict the uh, restrict the view to only specific one or two brands which have each item uh the trending trended drawings need to be comprehensive and they must incorporate all the necessary international and quality standards and uh, this statutory and the statutory and safety requirements as incorporated in the various uh, international and uh, national standard codes of safety uh stage 5 includes making of the uh, what you call this good for construction drawings and uh, here the compromise can be Uh, made to the uh, drawings uh, by making these inaccurate and not incorporating the inputs which are there from the customers uh, in terms of making the MEP plans and uh, preparing the coordinated drawings uh, for the electrical internal and external works without factoring the inputs which are there from the architect uh, team or the other MEP consultants uh, engineers or the interior design teams. and using of the unlicensed software which are not comprehensive stage 6 is the carrying out the validation of the design work now there are there are uh, hundreds of calculations which are there with some different type of boqs which i have stated now these need these must be validated usually um, usually uh, in case the same designer who have developed the concept and made the uh, detailed drawing they themselves approve it then there can be compromise uh for example compromise can be on the power factor it can be on the sanction power load was actual would be supplied and um, inadequacy in the vetting of the design this respect to the specification of the geometrical installation requirements etc now these all can uh, lead to incorrect design calculation uh, in the turn of uh, favors from this uh, validation uh, designer making cost estimates again here making the cost based on the lump sum square cost square fit basis rather than first principle of the various boq items which i have described earlier uh, both external and internal and designers they need to get some basic ideas about these costs and provide that and these costs not only must include the boq but also the cost of installation testing and commissioning uh, last stage is the designing of the as built designs uh, calculations uh versus what is approved now here uh, the unethical activity can be that the actual uh, design uh, is at variant and different vis a vis uh, what is being shown in the as built design uh, and this is possible by having a uh, being hands in glove with the uh, concerned uh, uh, statutory authorities so uh, there are overall 35 activities which are there which can contribute to the uh, adverse impact on the electrical design in a real estate industry or built industry and uh, more details about this can be found in my book ethics in real estate and built industry volume 1 and uh, there is some blog also on my website uh, https://ethicalpractices.com uh, where you can find more details This book is available for sale on both Amazon.com and Amazon.in, and you can refer to some more detailing in this. Thank you. Thank you very much.